okay? Don't nick off. Don't go too deep. I'll be over there. Okay? Have fun. Problem. You could have killed Banjo this morning. We're only buzzing him. He couldn't hear you coming. He's deaf. What? Like, deaf and dumb. Not dumb, just deaf. And what? You're just dumb. Of course he's dumb. Gotta be dumb to be a feral. You're here! Marion! This is the last thing I want to see from you. Come with me, please. But I have All right, Marion, have it your own way. I've just been discussing you with the headmaster. Your writing and number skills are third grade standard. Unless you're prepared to work harder instead of disrupting the playground like this, you'll be dropped down to the third grade. Understood? Yes. Told you he was dumb. He's a feral. They're all dumb. <laughs> As you know, classes are off for the remainder of the morning because of our staff meeting. Yes! But you are not getting off that easily. I have a project for you to take home. You all know what this is, and you all know what happens when you accidentally drop one, don't you? It breaks, Mrs Church. Most of the time, Brooke, yes. Now, hands up who's dropped an egg without breaking it. Hmm? Well, it can be done. I won't show you how, because that's what I want you to work out for yourselves. I want you to pair off for this project. You have until half past one on the dot to find yourselves an egg and work out how to drop that egg without breaking it. At half past one, on the dot, each pair will show the rest of us exactly what they've discovered. All right? Find your pair, everyone, and off you go. Enjoy third grade. Yeah, until they drop you back to kindy. Come on. Well, unless you'd rather pair with the dumbest kid in the class. Well, if he's so dumb, he's gonna need help, isn't he? Move. Come on. They won't drop you back to third grade. I don't care. I hope they keep me out all together. I never wanted to come here anyway. And you're not dumb either. No, I'm not. And I'm going to prove it. How can you drop an egg without breaking it? I don't know. Two heads are better than one. We ought to be able to work it out. You bet. Well, off you go, you two. Uh, Mrs Church. May I be excused from this project? Why, Brooke? Yeah, why, Brooke? Because I have a headache. Brooke, working in pairs is an important part of the project. It's called teamwork. You don't know what sort of wonderful ideas Spike might have. All right? Now off you go together. Hey, Brooke. We need to drop an egg without breaking it, right? So what do we need? How come that didn't make you puke? It makes everyone else puke. What do we need? Eggs, I suppose. Right, follow me. Hey, what about Abby pairing with Marion? I thought she was your best friend. Abby takes pity on dumb animals. What time is it? Half past 10. We got to half past one. That's three hours. Plenty of time. 
Where are we going? Dad knows everything about everything. He'll know how to drop an egg without breaking it. Hey, Marion. Why didn't I miss at school today? Nothing. And you're supposed to be sick. Why aren't you in bed? Good. What I miss at school today? Marion wouldn't tell me. Uh, we've got a project. We have to drop an egg without breaking it. Oh, no, I love projects. <sighs> of all the days to get sick. How do you drop an egg without breaking it? Why would you want to drop an egg without breaking it? Well, it's for school. Sounds stupid to me. It is stupid. School's stupid. But I have to do it. Why? No, I have to do it because... Uh, well, just because. Why aren't you at school? I'm doing a project. Have you got any eggs? I think we've got one left. Who's this? Oh, it's Abby. Can I borrow the egg? Hello. Hi. Can we help you? No, I'm... Marion and I are doing a school project together. I love school projects. And I'm not that sick. Please, can I go to school? There'll be plenty of other projects for you to do. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, let's give it a go. Snobs! Oh. And we'll never know. That was our last egg. Until we sell this jam at the market tomorrow and can afford to buy some more. Great! No eggs! How am I supposed to drop an egg if I don't even have one? Come on, I can get us heaps of eggs. I'm coming too. Oh, no, you're not. There, as many eggs as we need. Mr. Four can't see the chook pens from the house, so it's easy to pinch the eggs. We do it all the time. You're not a stuck-up droob after all. Just get the eggs. I'll keep watch. Right. Two and a half hours left. Mum's home. You wait out here. What do you think you're doing? I'm getting your mouth wet. Why? Who asked you to? No one asked you to. I can only think of one reason why you're going through my letterbox. I was waiting for Abby. Well, she's at school, young man. Mum! Abby? Why aren't you in school? There's a staff meeting. We're doing a school project together. A project? Together? Yes. Well, you might have been, but you're not any longer. Get back inside. You're coming with me. But, Mum... Where? Where? Where children who steal from letterboxes go, to the police station. Mum! You stay out of this, Abby. Inside, now. I wasn't stealing. Fine. Prove it to Constable Stubbs. Fine. I will. Break an egg, are you? Even a third grader knows how to break. 
break an egg. <laughs> Mrs. Oakley, I can't see any proof that the boy was going to steal the letters. I wasn't so, stealing. Have a bit less to say, will you? So I can't take any action. But you? You're angry. Stay away from people's letterboxes, OK? I wasn't stealing. OK. Yes, sir. In fact, I'd suggest you stay well away from all the local houses, right? Yes, sir. I'd prefer it if you'd stay away from my daughter, too. Can you get the hint? Yes, sir. Snobs, I have to stay away from Abby. But she's the one who's always hanging around me. Now, uh, who's this? Where'd you come from? Is someone's pet? <laughs> Hey, Marion, where have you been? Abby's mum got me into trouble. Now I have to stay away from Abby, but she's got our eggs. Girls, Brooke led me into a trap at an egg farm. Hey, that looks like one of their chooks. Where is this egg farm? Why? I can take the chook back, get some eggs as a reward. The bloke's mad. He'll kill you. I'm running out of time. I need eggs. He can't be that bad. Hello? Is this one of... You! I told you I'd never forget a face! Ah! Ah! I've got two faces I'll never forget! Trouble. It wasn't me, it was Mum. I don't care. Every time you're around, I get into trouble. OK, do the project yourself. I'm doing it myself. I don't need anyone's help. I'm not dumb. Got any eggs? I'm getting some. Where from? None of your business. OK, so you won't be needing these then. I'll get on with my project myself. See ya. Better get some eggs quick. You've only got an hour and a half. What's wrong with you? Why didn't you take your eggs? No way. I can do it. Shut up, snobs. Shut up, snobs. I'm trying to think. <laughs> oh, no. What are you doing back here again? <sighs> if only we had something to trade for eggs. We have. Hold this. Come on, snobs. <laughs> Can you borrow some jam? That's what I mean. Can I borrow some jam? What for? Yeah, what for? I thought you wanted eggs, not jam. Mm. Looks like nice jam. It's the best homemade jam in the world. So will you trade me some eggs for all this jam? I don't think Dad would let me. It's because you think I'm a feral, isn't it? I could ask, though. Carla, is this feral bothering you? No, he's trading his jam for eggs. But, Carla, your dad just sold out of eggs, didn't he? Yeah. Forget it. OK, snobs, we're going to the little supermarket. We'll have eggs to trade. You? I gave you the spike to mine. Well, I can't carry you. I've only got two arms, and I'm in a hurry. You're just going to have to keep up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Yes. How'd you do that? Over here. You're a genius. Yep. This one's ready to go. Oh. Hey, I was stuck with Spike to help me. Can I just say I helped you? Of course. Great, thanks. Oh, Abby. 
Where's Marion? Who cares? Probably trying to find eggs. Thought who was your partner? We split up. It's okay. We'll help you. We've worked out how to do it. Really? If we tell you, you have to promise to stop hanging around with Marion. Okay. Really promise. Sure, I really promise. He's a stubborn idiot. Okay. Good idea. I didn't think of that. Smart, eh? Marion won't even get close. Dumb twit. Can't even <laughs> get any eggs. Yeah, and he's not going to get any eggs either. We made sure of that. Hang on, you made sure he couldn't get any eggs? Yep. They'll drop him down to third grade for sure. That's so unfair. He might be a stubborn idiot sometimes, but he's not pathetic like you. I'll give him my eggs whether he wants them or not. Hey, but you gave me your promise. That's before I knew you sabotaged him. Can't let him get those eggs. Supermarket wouldn't trade either. Can't get an egg anywhere. You should have taken Abby's. No way. Did Abby offer you some eggs? Of course she did. He wouldn't take them. You're mad. You sure are. You're just too proud to ask for Abby's help, aren't you? No, I'm not. Well, guess what? I'm going to ask her for you. Don't. Fight! Fight! <laughs> as you are. That's it. I've run out of time. I was coming to give them to you whether you wanted them or not. Thanks. If you'd taken them when I offered them... Yeah, I know. I was dumb. You weren't dumb. You were just too proud. <laughs> See, I told you. <coughs> Shut up, snobs. Unless you know where I can find some unbreakable eggs. <coughs> snobs, if you don't... <coughs> Well, there's one egg. That's a start. That's not the start. That's the answer. <laughs> All right. It's half past one on the dot. I thought you were with Spike, Brooke. He decided to go with Marion, Mrs. Church. Oh, did he just? Well, no matter, as long as you were all part of a team. Oh, but I had the brilliant idea, Mrs. Church. Well, we're all looking forward to seeing the result, Ryan. OK. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's not fair! No, it wasn't really. Do you have another egg? Well, yeah, but we can't use it now. Why not? Because we haven't boiled it. Oh. Yes, I guess that's one way to stop it from breaking. Very clever, boys. And Brooke, I'll mark that as a pass. Who's next? Me, Mrs. Church. I mean us. Me and Abby. All right, Marion. You're not my friend anymore, Abby. Show Mrs. Church the egg, Abby. This was laid by that chook about ten minutes ago. Hmm, I'm sure this is all leading somewhere. Well, it proves that this chook has eggs inside her. So? that we just dropped all the eggs inside this chook and not one of them broke. Oh, that's cheating! No, it's quite imaginative, actually. It was mainly Marion's idea, Mrs Church. Well, it was very clever thinking. You all get a pass. Does that mean Marion can stay in sixth grade? Yes, I suppose it does. <laughs> oh, yes! By the way, you can still drop an egg without boiling it or it being inside a chook and it won't break. It's easy. This is how you do it. First, you need an egg. May I? <laughs> then, you wrap it like so. Ready? See? You just need to absorb the shock. I hate it when I miss projects. Why didn't I think of that? I believe some kids have been messing about in the dinghies at the jetty. I'm sure it won't happen again, sir. Better not, otherwise someone's in serious trouble. Got it? Got it. I thought you two were supposed to stay away from each other. I can't get rid of her, sir. I'm leaving this between you and your mother, OK? OK. You're a braver person than me. You better be worth it. <laughs> 